with the best site selection and design, each of the alternatives to a proposed project will have potential environmental and social impacts. Thus, the identification of mitigation measures to avoid, minimize, reduce, or compensate for the negative impacts of a project is a key component in the EIA process. The mitigation hierarchy is a prioritization of measures taking as part of the impact management process over the project life cycle. The goal is to implement the project with as little negative impact as possible. Although it is not always possible, avoiding an impact altogether should be the highest priority in an environmental impact assessment. The mitigation hierarchy can be viewed as a set of prioritized sequential components that are applied to reduce the potential negative impacts of project activities on the natural environment. It is not a one-way linear process but usually involves several iterations. As a general rule, preventive measures are always preferred to remediation measures from ecological, social, and financial perspectives. Preventive measures can be applied to both social and environmental impacts, including those on biodiversity and related ecosystem services. In descending order of preference, mitigation measures can be categorized as avoiding or preventing impacts altogether by not taking a certain action, changing the location or the sign, or using a different type of technology, minimizing impacts by limiting the duration, degree, or magnitude of the impacts that cannot be avoided, reducing or eliminating the impacts over time through protection or maintaining works over the lifetime of the project correcting the impact through repairing, rehabilitating, or restoring the affected environment or socioeconomic components, and compensating or offsetting any negative residual impacts by taking actions designed to generate additionalities by providing alternative resources for the environment or affected persons. The hierarchy reinforces the objective of trying to avoid or minimize potential impacts and identify them during these stages of project conceptualization, design, and site selection. The goal is to identify a project alternative that meets the purpose and need, yet does so with as little adverse environmental impact as possible. The review of the mitigation measures in an EIA is key to determining the environmental and social viability of the project. A reviewer should consider the following aspects which serve as the roadmap for mitigation and monitoring review. Mitigation Roadmap Proposed mitigation measures are specific, detailed, and implementable. Measures are proposed for all significant adverse impacts, stages of the proposed project, and sensitive environmental and social components. Mitigation measures are selected and prioritized in accordance with the mitigation hierarchy. Mitigation measures are proportionate to the significance of the impact. Mitigation measures should be technically and financially feasible and with adequate financial and non-financial resources available for implementation. Be socially and culturally acceptable. Have implementation plans that include schedules and interim milestones. Be scheduled appropriately with other project activities presented in the EIA. And have identified responsible parties committed to their implementation. Remember, Avoiding the last 5% of the impacts can be more costly than avoiding all of the other impacts combined. And this is where compensation comes into play. An EIA document lacking any of the above components in its mitigation section may be inadequate. And the reviewer should communicate this fact to the project proponent along with suggestions on how to correct the inadequacies.